Evening everyone, and uh, I'm back with another beer review. Uh, this beer was kindly sent to me from uh, Dean, from Dean's Beer Reviews. We, we traded a few beers, uh, and it's a Hungarian Bock beer. And uh, I'm guessing the brewery is Dreher. And like I say, Bach is Bock. Well, I'm guessing, <laughs> but it is a Bach, a Bock beer. So uh, yeah, so uh, Dreher Bock. Uh, seven point three percent in alcohol. It's a five hundred mil can. Uh, twenty four IBUs. So wonder if you're watching twenty four IBUs in this one. <laughs> uh, right. So yeah, we'll get on with the review. Uh, I have very little sort of knowledge on Bock beers. If I'm totally honest, I've had a little bit of a sprue up on it. I think I've only ever had one before, uh, which was the trap. Uh, what I do know, or what I think I know, is uh, 90, 99% of them are dark. Uh, I think they're basically, I say 99 they're basically a dark lager uh, that tend to be sort of 6.5% upwards. Uh, they tend to be very malty, quite sweet. Uh, they can vary in taste, but they do tend to just be dark beers that are strong. So, uh, now I've explained myself. There's the can. I quite like the can wrap. It's uh, sort of what you <laughs> sort of kind of thing I'd expect from a European country sort of thing. So uh, let's get it open. See what we get. Well, it's definitely dark. Ooh, I can smell that. I can smell that. Very malty. I'm sort of getting some toffiness of it already. In a glass, very, very dark. It's not black. It might look black in there, but that's that's a real deep mahogany, deep, deep chestnut sort of colour on top. Uh, slightly off white. Ooh, finger of sort of spacious head, just about holding, I think. So, uh, can't see any levels of carbonation in there really. Nothing sort of rising up the glass, so uh, let's get a nose on it. Yeah, very rich. Little bit boozy in there. Rich, malty. It's almost like a vine this in there as well, I would say. I'm just giving that impression, maybe. Yeah, I'd say it's it's almost like almost wine on the nose, uh, and with that little bit of booziness in there. So, uh, pretty much a new experience, certainly for reviewing one of these. So we'll see how it goes. So, cheers, Dean. Thanks very much for this, and uh, let's dive in. Yep, very malty, very malty. A little bit boozy at the start, but that's you certainly get more of that at the end of it. Bitter, very sort of, it's almost coffee bitter, almost similar to sort of stout sort of bitterness on the back end. rich although it doesn't appear to be a thick sort of, sort of body on it uh, it's quite heavy when you drink it I mean that's almost like a a good strong traditional sort of British ale with sort of hints of sort of like a stout in there. Uh, it's it's that's quite enjoyable, really. I'm not sort of like I'm certainly not disliking it. Uh, it 
toffee sort of caramel flavours in there as well. Bit of sweetness. It's quite a tasty drink that. Not much carbonation in the mouth, you're not certainly not getting much air. Leaves your mouth sticky inside. Uh, 7.3%. I, I wouldn't say you're getting the 7.3. Not not 7.3 to be fair. Uh, yes, you know it's a little bit more boozy, but but not 7.3. The body's not bad on the beer, actually. Uh, I'm probably going around this whole review sort of a bit backwards, trying to pick out all sort of different things, but uh, it's quite enjoyable. I think uh, Thien picked this up from one of his Polish shops where he lives. Couldn't tell you which one. It may just be a little independent one. And well, I think one of the last beers he actually commented that it was only £1.20 for the bottle, I think it was, or one of the cans. No idea how much this was. I mean, as I said in the last video of what I done with this was, excuse me, I suggested it was like 150, 60, about maybe two quid, which he actually said it was one pound 20. So I don't know, I'll say 150, maybe Dean, feel free to comment on this and let me know how much it was because that's, that's an enjoyable dark beer. It's almost pale. It's for me, you know. Like I said, I've, I've got no big experience of this. It's almost like a cross between a nail and a stout, uh, and it's rather enjoyable as well. So, uh, as I said, can't tell you where he got it from, but if you do see it, uh, certainly pick one up. It's certainly for me. It's a little bit different because I don't always, you know. Like I said, it's only my second box beer I've done. But it's it's pretty bloody enjoyable, and I mean, if he comes out and comments and says it, you know, it's like one pound twenty, definitely worth a purchase. Uh, if you've had it, let me know. Uh, feel free to comment, tell me what you think of the beer. I think it's rather good, as I've said. Uh, and yeah, that's that's it really. Uh, like, share, comment, uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, whatever you're drinking, enjoy. Uh, as I said on my previous video, if there's anything new or something you'd, you'd like to see me do on the video, like all the IBUs and hops and everything in it, please uh, please comment, let me know. Otherwise, I'll just keep doing it as I'm doing, but hopefully a little bit better, maybe. And uh, like I say, whatever you're drinking, enjoy. I'm going to enjoy finishing this, and uh, I will see you again on another beer review. Cheers.